Salvador Cicero. I am the president of the Cicero Law Firm and also the president of uh, Trust One Type. Our law firm was born out of necessity. Uh, out of school, I was in the Foreign Service of Mexico and uh, was doing more uh, legal analysis type work and policy work. And then I came to the United States to work for the American Bar and decided to give it a try at a law firm. So I opened up the firm in 2006. And one of the first types of work that we got to do was a real estate work. And that is a very important part of what we do these days. And so with time, it eventually grew so important that we started uh, looking for other opportunities. And uh, one of the title companies came to us and said, hey, why don't we partner up and create this, uh, a new uh, title company? And that's how Trust One Title was, was born. I think that most people who own their own businesses, they do things because they have an idea or out of necessity or they fall into some kind of industry. And I think many times we don't really know how to organize a business or we don't have that know-how. Um, in the case of attorneys, many of us are uh, good attorneys and bad businessmen. So uh, structuring a business like a law firm has a side that is very difficult in terms of being a good administrator and having a lot of skills that you don't have just because you went to law school. Uh, you, you could know a lot about business law and you could know a lot about how to run a board of directors, for example. I've sat on board of directors and I learned doing that. And yet I realized that I wasn't running my own business in the most uh, professional way, right? Sometimes we don't follow our own advice. So I think that that is first, acknowledging where you are lacking in something. And uh, I think that you acknowledge as soon as you learn. So if you are humble enough to say to yourself, mm, I could improve in this, that's number one. And number two, actually doing it, which is a lot harder. I think that sometimes when we are in business for ourselves, we lose sight of the greater opportunities. Um, well, there's two levels, right? I think the first level is when you're starting your business, you go to all kinds of different events and sometimes you kind of waste your time. Unfortunately, I think you kind of have to go through that process to learn what are the more strategic things that you should be doing for your business in terms of generating the business. So whether it's a title company where we have to speak to attorneys uh, or it's a law firm where you have to get clients, right? Um, sometimes it's not about having the know-how, but it's about having the access to do your pitch and what differentiates you from anybody else, right? Ultimately, people, I think, do business with people who first they trust and second, that show them results because you can be the most likable person in the world, but if you don't get the job done, then why are they paying you, right? So those are two different levels of, of work that are very difficult to, to kind of keep track of. All of our talent has to be bilingual. It's very important. Uh, I mean, the transactions, all of the paperwork is in English, right? You need to speak English, that's, that's essential. To be successful in the United States, that's, that's a must. Uh, and those of us who've come from other countries and whose language, first language is not English, uh, and we've been somewhat successful, I think it's because we made that effort, right? But I, but I also recognize um, that, for example, let's say you're buying your first house, your parents may not speak English. And having the closer be able to explain things, right, that they might have questions on about certain documents. Now, you have your, your own lawyer who should be representing you, right? Not everybody brings a lawyer. Of course, I'm of the opinion that they should. So all of our attorneys are bilingual. I think that when I'm looking to recruit people, I, I think, well, what are the different opportunities that you bring? What else do you bring to the table? Because the legal knowledge, you have to have it. But we can train you on that, right? You'll learn from us. But what experience do you have? Are you good with people? Are you approachable? Um, because when you do real estate, uh, yes, we're the part that does the transaction, but the person that does your closing is your lawyer. You know, so you need to be personal and you need to be able to explain everything to the person.